Hello everyone, welcome back to Auto Trend TV. Today I am here at Adi Nexa Maruti Suzuki showroom in Coimbatore with the all new 2022 Maruti Suzuki Balenos base level Sigma variant. This all new second generation Baleno hatchback has been the most anticipated car of the year, aiming to provide a lot of standard features along with better comfort, space, and safety. I will definitely be reviewing all the variants of the new Baleno. For today, let's take a look at this entry-level Sigma variant. Despite being the entry-level variant, you can still see projector headlamps available as standard. This truly is a surprising feature because this car does not provide chrome highlights or even front fog lamps on this specific variant. So fitting front fog lamps will complete the overall front fascia. That said, coming on towards the sides, this video is sponsored by Boodmo.com, the spare parts expert. Any brand, any model, any spare part, they offer only genuine quality components along with the cheapest and more expensive options all at one place for you. You can check out their website at Boodmo.com or download the Boodmo app which is available for Android devices and iOS as well. You can search for the required spare part in the proper category from the scrolling menu on the home screen and you can also check out the available offers displayed on the home screen as well. Boodmo also offers return and refund assurance within 10 days of purchase. If you don't like the spare part, you can return it within 10 days without any hassle. Boodmo, the spare parts expert and quite literally the one-stop shop for all your automotive spare part needs. Here you can notice more than a few differences when compared to the higher variants. This entry-level Sigma variant gets the turn indicators on the front fenders while the ORVMs and door handles are actually black in color. And the B-pillar is also in body color instead of black. That said, even this Sigma variant, despite not providing an infotainment system, still gets a roof-mounted stubby antenna. And then obviously, that is the difference of the wheels, because only this Sigma variant does not provide full wheel covers, and all you get to see are these 15-inch basic-looking steel wheels. That said, moving on towards the rear, this all-new second-generation Baleno looks pretty good with the standard LED tail lamps. Rear windshield wiper washer with defogger are available only from the Zeta variant onwards. That said, all the variants get remote central locking along with reverse parking sensors. So that was all about the exterior of the all-new Baleno's base level Sigma variant. Let's now get inside the car. Yes folks, I'm right now inside the brand new Maruti Suzuki Baleno for the year 2022 and this is the base level Sigma variant which surprisingly gets a whole lot of standard features as well. Uh, for example, you get to see this automatic climate control immediately. Automatic AC is usually reserved for the top spec variants of almost every other car except for the Baleno because this feature is available as standard on this base variant itself along with all four power windows with one touch up and down function for the driver window as well. So let's try doing that. So that is one touch down and that is one touch up as well. So this is literally superb in terms of convenience and feature count as well. That said, you obviously don't get all the features you see on the mid-spec or top-spec alpha variants. For example, you don't get an audio system or infotainment system at all. That said, you still get provision for those and speakers as well. And this car obviously does not get steering motor audio controls as a result. While telescopic adjustment is available only from the mid-spec variant onwards and the top-spec variant, whereas this variant does not get telescopic adjustment, only tilt adjustment is available as standard. Now, this MID is also different because it is not a color MID display. It is instead a monochromatic LCD display, which still provides you with all the information and data you need including mileage range uh, distance to empty uh, efficiency and all those things so this is okay and coming to the right side of the steering wheel you can see that uh, from the three arrays of buttons on the alpha variant this variant has only two arrays because the heads up display array is not there simply because this car does not offer heads up display uh, that said from these two array of buttons uh, you get only one functional button that button is for the engine idle automatic start stop function for better efficiency and economy then coming to the mirrors well yes uh, just like the tata altros this car uh, does not have internally adjustable orvms uh, there is no manual stock over here and neither does this car offer electronic adjustment for the ORVMs on this base variant which means every time you have to roll down the driver window and adjust the mirrors manually. So this is the only minus point of this Sigma variant. Apart from that everything else is pretty well in this car including the seating comfort and everything you can see these large super large rugby style seats 
which are super comfy and greatly supportive. These are not the blue and black seats uh, seen on the Alpha variant and neither does this variant offer side airbags or curtain airbags. This car instead offers only two airbags as standard. Uh, well, the seats though are pretty comfortable for long drives. They are greatly supportive and superb. And the biggest surprise is that on the doors, armrests as well, you get to see fabric padding. On even this entry level variant, you get to see nice soft fabric padding as standard, which is nice and great in terms of comfort for all kinds of people to rest their elbows there. Now, coming to the center console, again, you get to see multiple cup holders, multiple storage options, and you get to see this standard 12 volt charging socket over here. Uh, that said, no center armrest over here. Instead of that, you get to see a smartphone pocket and this cubby hole here, this pocket over here for your uh, coins or receipts or whatever you want to place over there. Now, coming to the glove box. The size is pretty good. It is adequate in terms of size. However, there is no cooling function or illumination. That said, one liter bottles can be easily stored on all doors of this new Bellino. Now coming towards the roof, you get the standard day night adjustable IRVM. Whereas the sun visors don't get vanity mirrors at all on this base level variant, not even the passenger side. So that is basically okay because this simply is an entry level variant. Now another feature missing on this car is the driver seat height adjustment. That feature is also reserved from the mid spec variant onwards all the way up to the alpha. So that was all about the features in the front part of the Sigma variant's cabin. Let's now take a look at the rear seats. Yes folks, this is how the dashboard of the all new Maruti Suzuki Beleno's base level Sigma variant looks like. Except for the lack of an audio system and steering mode audio controls, this car provides almost all features you need including the almost top spec variant like dashboard materials and color combination which really makes this car so flexible. Now talking about the rear seats, the overall space, comfort, everything remains exactly the same just like the Alpha variant which means you get a whole lot of legroom as standard. Uh, so making this car so comfortable even on the base level variant. However, this uh, entry level variant does not offer height adjustable headrests. These instead are fixed headrests, which is completely okay. That said, these headrests are pretty decent in terms of size and cushioning as well, providing you decent level of safety also. Uh, however, ISOFIX child seat mounts are available as standard along with other safety features such as ABS with EBD, dual airbags, remote central locking and reverse parking sensors. Now, unlike the Alpha variant, this car does not provide rear AC vents. Instead, it provides this rather large storage pocket over here, probably for storing your smartphones or even your water bottles like this. <laughs> so that is okay. That said, even this entry level variant provides a 12 volt charging socket separately for the rear seat passengers. How great is that? So that is really nice in terms of attention to detail. And just like the front doors, you can also see the same uh, fabric material padding on the rear doors as well including the blue coloring and black plastic along with the black plastic door handles as well so well that was all about the features in the back of the maruti suzuki baleno sigma variant let's now take a look at the boot space even this entry level sigma variant of the all new baleno gets remote central locking so opening the boot is also pretty easy using an electric button that said the boot space is not as large as before because all new baleno's get 318 liters of luggage space, which is slightly lesser compared to the previous model. While 60-40 split folding rear seats are available from the Zeta variant onwards, the lower variants get 100% flat folding mechanism. If there are only two passengers in the car, you can fold the rear seats to accommodate larger luggage. That said, this entry-level Sigma variant does not provide a boot lamp, but still it provides a bag hook on the left side for your shopping bags. Opening the boot floor, you get to see a 15-inch exact same size steel spare wheel, which can be used permanently as well. All the tools are provided in the boot area itself. That said, this entry-level Sigma variant does not provide a parcel tray. Now, let's close the boot and talk about this Bellino Sigma variant's pricing and value. So, that was a detailed walk-around review of the brand new Maruti Suzuki Bellino's entry-level Sigma variant. As standard, all variants of the new Baleno get the exact same 1.2 litre 4 cylinder dual jet petrol VVT engine, producing 90 PS of maximum power through a 5 speed manual gearbox. So, taking a look at this entry level Sigma variant, which itself provides a lot of standard features, including projector headlamps, automatic climate control, all four power windows with remote central locking, all you need to do is get front fog lamps, full wheel covers, a good infotainment system, and seat covers to complete your family car package. 
So for the available pricing and all these features, this entry-level Sigma variant of the Bellino itself is incredible value for money in the premium hatchback category. Meanwhile, this is Swiprajesh signing off. See you on another video. Thank you for watching.